Hello. Hey guys. <laughs> Got a little bit of a delay here, a little 10 second delay. But I think we're live right now. Is anybody out there? Hey, we got a few people watching. Nice. Welcome. <laughs> this is our first time live streaming with our computer and a microphone. We had such bad audio quality last time. We've been trying to fix that. Hopefully this is better. Let us know if you can hear us okay. And we're outside. It's a pretty day. Oh, oh yeah. Is that right now? Hello, that's a lot of people all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, 70 people. But Hi, Margaret. What about the internet? Honey, What's happening here? Flo Honey Flores, John W., Amu, Marshall, Naomi, Samoan Savvy, Polynesian Vibes, Hot Style Number One. Hello, everybody. Okay. Yay, it's working. Sorry if the internet buffers. We're in Samoa. <laughs> Do you want to ask any questions? <laughs> Thanks for helping us uh, know that the, vo the audio is okay, Margaret. American Samoa checking in and Houston <laughs> checking in. That's awesome. So we just wanted to kind of come, we just wanted to kind of come in here and um, and say hi to everybody and answer anybody's questions. Um, when are you going to Fangaalu? Uh, I think that's what it's, what, Fangaalu. Uh, I don't know where Fangaalu is, so maybe when I learn where that place is, we will go there. Oh, left hook to the body. What up from Waianae, Oahu? Nice. I think that's called, I think there's a lady there, uh, Wendy from Waianae. Is she still like a, a thing over there in Hawaii? On Cape Hawaii. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jubes and Chris, good to see you guys. Hello. Thank you so much for being um, patrons for from Patreon. Thank you so much. So we have a couple of things that we want to talk about. Um, first off, tomorrow we're going on a pretty cool adventure. Um, you guys saw... I think anybody that has been watching our Instagram lately has seen that we've gone to, um, we've been doing some stuff with Samoa Tourism, and a couple weeks ago on June 18th, uh, we went to Monono, or I went to Monono, and then um, the next day I went and did a bunch of other things in Savaya and Lalo, Lalo Talie, uh, but what's our adventure tomorrow? Tomorrow, um one of you guys actually someone who watches jamly tv named pita he was so nice he messaged us and said he wants to have our family go out on a boat with them we get to go to apolima and mm, <laughs> i always get them mixed up <laughs> new lopa oh and apolima right and apolima and it's i can't remember if it's manono or it's manono and manono <laughs> no yeah manono we're going to manono yeah for our first time well Mine and the girls' first time. Joe went already, but we're super excited. Yeah, I actually didn't get to go to. Um, I didn't get to go to Monono. Uh, sorry, Apolima. So excited to to go there this time for sure. I like this question. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good question. I really tricked her. Uh, this is one me one million 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 one million, million says. Hey Joe, how'd you get such a hot wife? I like it. Yeah, that's a really good question. It's a mystery. Um, it's unknown to me, and uh, I'm currently still tricking Alicia. She's under, <laughs> she's under my spell. <laughs> I like that too. <laughs> um, once the borders open up in Australia, we plan to visit Samoa. This is uh, Jubes and Chris. Um, what car rental places would you recommend? So, one, one place that we recommend is um, what's the name of that place? Funway? Funway. Funway Rentals. Um, they are really nice people and we really we really um, support them. They've they've rented us or sorry we've rented from them maybe three times and all three times um, really easy to work with. 
uh, nice cars. One time we did have a problem with the car, but we just called them up and they said, hey, come switch it out. And we switched it out right away, so easy. Another one is Tommy Asina Rentals. Um, we, we like them too. And what's the third place? Don't your auntie and uncle rent cars? Yeah, then? my auntie and uncle from Apia Expats. Um, not the auntie that makes the best Oka. I don't know if I told you guys that, but my auntie makes the best Oka. It's not her. It's the other one. Um, she owns Apia, Ex Apia, Apia Central. Expats. <laughs> Duh. We run Apia Expats. They own Apia they Central. They own Apia Hotel. Central. Man, good thing you're here, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, man, Alicia is getting a lot of love today. Your wifey oh. is so beautiful. I love your hair. That's Thanks. co pops. So, <laughs> yes, thank you. True story. Um. Oh, Fanga Alu is village in LBJ Hospital in American Samoa. Okay, well, we haven't, we've driven by that before. We've driven by that hospital. Um, my brothers were actually, both brothers were born, two of my three brothers were born at that hospital over there. Um, if it's the same hospital that was around in 1980 when they were born anyway, but yeah, we've been there um, And maybe sometime we'll go back there and do a video and highlight um, Fung Alu, so yeah, we'll be there. So we have Koi Matai asks if there's a lot of Samoans in Texas and Sam Fa'asuamanu asks um, If there's any advice for Texas living as they'll be moving to San Antonio next year, so we really loved our time in Texas, and um, it's a really great place for raising families. I think, you know, just we we found a really great core group of friends at church, and um, maybe if you have a church family that you can look for there, that really helps a lot. Um, any other Texas advice you can think of? Um, there's a lot to see and do in Texas, so um, just make sure to, you know, like spend some time in the state because there's so many things to do in Texas, including um, SeaWorld and uh, th a bunch of things to do in Austin and in that they call it the hill country in Austin. So go down there and check Lots them of out. Lakes and rivers and really beautiful. Yeah, so go check them out. Um, <clears throat> one question about can we scroll up? Okay. Have we been to Savai'i yet? Asks Pule. Uh, Tonga'e. Tonga'e. Tonga Tonga Come on, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pule. Um, we have been to Savai'i a couple times. We actually will have a video coming out soon when Joe's cousin Rachel came and visit us and we went over to Savai'i. We do a little quick Savai'i tour, so I'm excited to get that up for you guys. Um, Mene Paulu asks um, what sort of business we think Samoa people need or want. A great question. So it seems like Samoan people, from what I can tell, Samoan people like to eat. Um, and so uh, a restaurant is a great idea for you to start. So if you like, especially like a food truck, if you can run a successful food truck in Samoa, it's uh, really good. We need Thai food. Yes. And we need Mexican food. Yeah. So we don't really have um, great. We don't have any Thai food, and we have one place that is Mexican, but they've closed because of the border restrictions that we have right now. Uh, we can internally, you know, go to restaurants and everything. There's not really any restrictions there now, but, you know, having tourists come and, and visit the restaurants is a little bit, I mean, we don't have it anymore. So, um, so they had to close their, their Mexican restaurant. DJ Sal's asks when he's going to see your aunties Palusami and Oka. So you guys have seen my aunties Palusami like many times. Um, she she made it. Um, it's been a while though because of the clo the lockdown and everything. I think they're a little bit nervous about having people over, so we haven't like really gone over there to their house recently to um, to enjoy their Palusami or Oka. So it's all about from memory. That's all. I just remember from memory. <laughs> um. Let's see what else. Thanks, Kathy. She says she loves my hair. And she's always like the first commenter. We love Kathy. Kathy Timoteo. Um, oh, can we sing a song? Manuelo Savana. Manuelo Savana. So we don't really know. Uh, we're not we'll, really good we'll singers either. We'll try and work on that. Maybe we can do. We both harmonize. Neither of us are really like lead singers. So we'll I'm a lead sing. singer. <laughs> okay, so sorry. We'll 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 get uh, we'll do something about that some other time. We'll do another video for you for that. 
Oh, can you get more into scary Samoan history myths and legends on the spiritual side? Okay. We've heard a lot. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, I want to I wanna make a movie about it, actually, but everyone's too scared to act in that movie. Uh, so we can... I, I have a good friend that you guys have seen in the stories. His name is Tupea, um, and he does Vanu Studios. Uh, he and his cousins all run Vanu Studios, and they do a great job. They've kind of just, like, exploded on the scene here in Samoa lately. And uh, maybe maybe we can talk to them about doing some, some histories and legends about Samoa. Um, and also, I have another good friend here who's... His name is Lama Manu, and that guy is... Um, He's a wealth of information about local myths and legends. So uh, maybe I can do a mukbang with that guy. I, I've been talking about eating seya and some other, you know, what, you know, marginally gross things. <laughs> Eat that kind of stuff for you guys and have llama with me. And so maybe we'll talk about that um, in our mukbang. So we'll have Good that luck. coming soon. Thanks, babe. Good luck. Um, have we been to Alofa Anga blowholes? Yes, we have yes. been to the blowholes. If you <coughs> watch our Miss Samoa videos from 2018, um, you'll see we did a tour of Savai'i with the Miss Samoa contestants and we visit the, the blowholes in that video. So it's really cool. Um, aw, thanks, Angalele. She said my Samoan pronunciation has improved. Thank you. We're working on it still. <laughs> um, Bruce wants to see the Oka too some, sometime soon. <laughs> uh, as soon as the restrictions lift and she's a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more willing to come out and see us so we'll see let's see j stona 76 ghost town um asks if there's a good mac salad out here like in waipahu <laughs> we haven't encountered a mac salad that's comparable to like a hawaiian mac salad but our friend ben who owns the mexican restaurant he makes a really delicious mac salad you know, every once in a while, also Mackenzie's. I don't know if you guys are local, but Mackenzie's makes a decent mac salad. I guess it depends on who makes it because sometimes it's pretty solid and other times not as good, <laughs> like a four. But usually it's like a seven. Um, so that's, that's Jay Stona. <clears throat> Hi, Lucy. You made the live show. We love Lucy Meyer. Um, Lucy, thank you so much for all of your comments. You always have uh, nice, insightful comments and so, so um, uplifting and, uh, and, encouraging. and encouraging. Yeah, yeah, so we really appreciate you com commenting all the time um, <laughs> from, from Melbourne. And TMAC Mali asks, how are the kids Samoan language coming along? I feel like it's gone downhill <laughs> in the in the last like six nine months for sure yeah they were out of school for a long time because of measles lockdown last year um, coronavirus lockdown this year they're at a new school where they do have Samoan language taught but as a subject it's not taught throughout the day and the class we were taking last year was only six weeks long we're trying to get another class started now so we can keep learning we have learned some and we try and have our friends talk to us in Samoan um, but it's a long process. Koi Matai went to the Joseph Parker fight at the Ford Center in Frisco which is uh, a neighbor actually our neighbor in in Texas when we lived there we lived in McKinney which is right next to Frisco so mm -hmm. uh, cool that you got to see the Uso Joseph Parker fighting in in Frisco pretty mm -hmm. awesome. Tala Ropeti Leo, Leo says do you plan to come to American Samoa again? Um, if the borders open and things happen, Joe's mom wants to come back and she actually wants to build a fale on the property. Yeah. Fale tali malo. Yeah. Fale tali malo. So we're going to have to go there and... Or malo. What? Fale tali malo. Fale tali malo. 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 <clears throat> so we're going to have to uh, go over there and, and kind of get that all started and stuff. So... Uh, it looks like Lucy's not excited about Saya either. Yeah. Um, co, um, cop, co pops. Co pops. Co pops asks, uh, what's the best rate when currency exchange? The best place to go is at the airport, actually. Um, mm -hmm. That's I think it's called number one currency. But yeah, they're the best place to do it. So when you get off the airplane, just go over there and get your money exchange right there um, rather than coming into town. And now if you're in Samoa and you need more money, what we found is what we do from America anyway is we send money from our American bank account to here 
I'm to Samoa to BSP, Bank of South Pacific, and we use MoneyGram. And it costs us $16, but if you send the max amount, then it makes sense because that $16 fee extends across all that 20, um, all, all across that $2,500 um, dollar limit. What is this? Michael Malele. Bula from your neighbor in Fiji. Wow. Holy cow, Bula. Uh, holy cow, holy cow, Michael. <laughs> Thank uh, you so much. Bula from Samoa, Talofa <laughs> from Samoa. Re really appreciate um, the super chat. For those of you that don't know, that twenty dollars up there means that that he has just sent us uh, twenty dollars on super chat. So Thank really you appreciate so much. it. Thank you, Michael. That's so kind of you to do that. Um, <clears throat> what's the building behind us? That's a good question. Let's see if we can move this a little bit so the the building behind us is called the central bank of samoa um and then oh yeah you can't really see that one but the building back there is the government building so we're sitting at a little picnic table down by the seawall next door to those buildings right now this 10 second delay is kind of messing with us because <laughs> i can hear us in here 10 seconds after and the screen is also 10 <laughs> seconds after so we apologize but uh hopefully at least you know the the stream is nice and clear for you guys yeah. <clears throat> uh, adrian mosiah that's my nephew hello hey. love you Good to Hola. see you, bro. Hola, <laughs> <Están> Puerto Rico. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know, um, Alicia actually edits all of the videos. Um, I just talk and sound like a dummy, <laughs> and Alicia fixes all of that in her editing. So thank you for that. And also, her other talent is that she can speak um, Spanish. Uh, <laughs> n not as well as I can speak Samoan. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, she can. <laughs> Nora Phillips. Holy cow. Thank you, Nora. Thank you, Nora. So kind of you to do that. Um, K Manga Mangele. Sorry, it's scrolling up. If I comment on all your vlogs, do I get a shout out of love? <laughs> Here's from your Melbourne. shout out. There of you love. go. There you go. Shout out of Lucy. love. Lucy. Wow, Lucy. Thank you so much. Um that's so kind of you, you guys. Joe Marion and Poe Fitzmanu your mother's your mom's brother yeah yeah that those are my mom's brothers Marion and Poe um, she also has a couple other brothers um, Aoi and uh, John and uh, who's, who's some other brothers there, there's lots of brothers yeah Kavika is another one Rose my goodness Holy cow. Rose Harris Thank you. Rose says she loves our videos, graduated from Viola College in Savai'i and hasn't been back in oh, five years. Wow. Okay. So That's what's awesome. what's cool about Viola College is that um, with iBuy Pacific, uh, for those of you guys that don't know, I think you guys know that, that we run iBuy Pacific as well with, um, a couple, with a couple other partners. And um, one of our customers is actually Viola College in Savai'i. So we're putting together an order today. Uh, well, not today. Tomorrow it'll be put together tomorrow, and we'll be delivering it on Monday. And I might actually be getting on the on the boat on Monday to make sure that that is like delivered to the college. So <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll see we'll see if I have to get on the boat in an emergency. Uh, oh, not tomorrow. We're going on our own. Oh, boat sorry, tomorrow. not tomorrow. That'll be on Monday. That I'll be running into yep. the, on the boat if I need to. Hey, shout out to the Kiwis in New Zealand from <laughs> Kirsty. We love New Zealand. We love Kiwis. Kiwi fruits and Kiwi people. <laughs> <laughs> and Kiwi birds. Don't and forget kiwi about birds. Kiwi birds. We love everything All kiwi. kiwi. <laughs> <laughs> All things Kiwi. Lua Luai. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. And Lena Pizza. Thank you so much. Wow, Lena. She says, Too love kind. Jamie Lee from Avondale, Auckland, New Zealand. So Thank we've so we much. haven't spent enough time in South Auckland, um, but next time that we head over to New Zealand, we're gonna do like a get together um, for all the for the patrons that are in New Zealand. Um, we're gonna take those patrons that are in New Zealand, and we're gonna figure out some place we can do a meetup and uh, and get some I don't know some burger fuel or something. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Something like that. Yeah. So we, thank we, you, Lena Pizza. Thank you, Lua Luai, Michael, and Lucy. Um, 
<laughs> come visit your village Malailoa next time you in American Samoa so we did vi visit for just a second but uh, we need to stay there longer next time K Mangele asks do you have a side in Savai'i his grandpa is from Savai'i from um, Tsapali'i my my grandpa John uh, John but his name is Sione Fitzimanu um, he's from Sapali and uh, and then his his dad is uh, the Maliatoa and or was Maliatoa and uh, it goes back from there Mene Paulu asks how are you related to the rock again how am I related to the rock the eyebrow again? so people can see <laughs> <laughs> I uh, okay so the rocks uh, mom. mom and my mom are half sisters so um, that's how we're related uh, Anome asks for a shout out hello <laughs> there you go <laughs> where's ammo good question she's at home okay so we were wondering um, what do you guys think about like we're thinking about doing a live where we eat right I feel like that might be a bad idea <laughs> you know, I feel like we're not we got a lot going on without food and yeah. then trying to eat and especially if we have the kids trying to eat I yeah. feel like that's a recipe for disaster but I think but I think we can do it we're gonna try and figure that out oh um, also I wanted to give a shout out to to the patrons um, our patrons are the ones who have um, uh oh can't oh is it my speaker oh sorry yeah. uh, our patrons are the ones who have allowed us to um, we're trying to figure out what we should do for the live because one of the benefits of being a patron on the patreon.com slash TV channel is that they get to participate in live events with us um, every single month and so we sent it out to them we're like what should we do should we just do a live for you guys because at that time we had 15 patrons now we have 17 so thank you guys so much for that um, and and they actually, basically everyone said, we need to do the live with with the whole um, community. So huge thanks to them for kind of giving that okay for us to do the whole the live with the whole community. So we'll be doing lives every single month now. Um, we're committing to do the live every single month. Uh, so we're just kind of getting used to it. We had a little bit of a snafu yesterday where we kind of uploaded a live alicia was like how do i turn this off i'm like what the heck 64 of you guys <laughs> tuned in and saw it and like 15 of you liked it and uh so we're sorry about that but we're just getting used to this new software so hopefully uh we'll be able to get it working right uh it's actually i think it's working right here we just are sweating mm -hmm. to death because we're in samoa out in the heat the sun is going down um but yeah so we're trying to do lives every single month shout out to the patrons for allowing us yeah. to the ability to do that so we see shiloh tumanu vow says to send sister merrick that's rose mom love we'll tell her say best kk sangas came from her <laughs> <laughs> mom made you kk sanga that's crazy mom like never makes kk sanga that's funny that's funny that she would do that for for you guys and not for me yeah. but i i'm okay with that I'm Gumby okay 82 that. asks if we can do a meet in Sydney or they're also have to go to Brisbane or Melbourne. We would love to when the borders open again. We were working on um, a partnership with Samoa Airways um, before all of the borders closed. And so hopefully when things open again, we can look into that again. Um, yeah. Let's see. Um, and again, uh, so Michael, uh, Michael Makele, Malele, can you, where in Fiji are you? And, uh, and is that where you recommend we come visit sometime? I've I've been to Fiji, but only on a layaway. And I was in Nandi for like 12 hours, so I just like walked around and we made a video of it. Um, I got a little freaked out one time, but uh, I, I was ready to fight if I need to fight. I don't know if that's a thing that you guys do in Fiji or not, but um, I was ready to go. Um, shout out again to Nora Phillips. Thank you for that super chat and Lucy for that super chat. And then uh, Lua Luai also, thank you also for that super chat. Yes. Let's see, Nick V asks. Oh, and Kathy Timoteo, thank oh you. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Kathy. Um, Nick V says, Joe, how did you talk Felicia into moving to Samoa? My wife is German and wants nothing to do with the humidity. We are in Vancouver, Washington. I'm from the opposite end of the country <laughs> in Miami, Florida originally, and it's actually really similar humidity. The weather's quite, quite similar. Um, but we've always known we wanted to come here eventually. I, I would love to see the whole world. So 
Selma was just a little gem in that world that we hope to see. Yeah, and and we've been talking about it for a long time. And and re what should is there something that you can? It's going again. Oh, I think it's live again. Sorry about that. Mm. Buffering life, you just frozen. Is it back? Can you guys hear us again? I'm able to connect to chat. Um, can you guys, can you guys hear us? Do you want me to try and connect to your internet? Yeah. All good now. Okay. Someone just said, um, all good now. Marshall Goodwin. All right. So sorry about that. I don't know. <laughs> Again, Samo internet. We are out by the government building, which you would think would have the best internet available. Um, and actually, Angalele asked us about that, um, if how we're getting such good streaming and if it's costing us a pretty penny. It would have cost us a pretty penny in the past, but Digicel learned of what we're doing and trying to promote Samoa to the world, and they actually sponsor our internet, and we are so grateful. So thank you so much, Digicel. Yep. Um, so we are hotspotting from our phones right now while we're outside. Yep. Um, how long will it take for an order to be delivered to Australia? Oh, 264 TJ is asking about our merchandise. Have you guys seen it? Um, I've been trying to design, make more designs. If you guys have ideas for designs, let me know also. I'm totally willing to put some phrase up or something like that. Um, we actually don't know for sure how long it will take to deliver to Australia. They are fulfilled in the US and delivered from there. Um, but shipping is really slow in the U.S. right now because of coronavirus. So we're not exactly sure how long it will take. But if you order something, we would love if you want to let us know so we can have a better idea. Um, let's see. What Jay else? Stona, the only ones really promoting Samoa. Thank you for making videos that make me want to come come there for a month and just eat and swim. I never made, uh, I never Samoa made fancy. I never knew Samoa made fancy style food like that out here in California. So. Yeah, true story. Lots of really good food here. Um, Pita Tua. So if you guys see Pita Tua in the um, in the chat there, he's the one who is sponsoring our trip out to Monono to go visit his family yes. and Apolima and stuff. So thank you, Pita, for excited. doing that. Sele lava, Pita. <laughs> uh -huh. um, Mena Rose asks where we live. We live just outside of Apia right now. We used to live near um, by Lima. But we may be moving again soon. So we're not really sure. Yeah. Our, our landlord has told us that they're going to raise the rent in a little bit. Um, so we'll, we'll be moving soon again. Mm -hmm. Daus asks if you follow any sports or teams. So not really. Um, you know, with with Jamily TV stuff, you know, trying to keep up with the Instagram, trying to keep up with um, with Facebook stuff, and then also I have a job uh, back home that I do um as often as i can uh it's consulting making coins and things like that for uh, my old company that i used to work with and uh and then also um i buy pacific takes a lot of time also so i just don't have time to watch sports and stuff you know instead of being in the house watching sports if we have extra time we're we're out and about with the kids and whatnot so yeah. none of that Let's see um, hey, Mangele says in January her mom saw us at Eveni and Amo's the cutest. <laughs> so someone's mom, <laughs> I don't know if it's yours, <laughs> saw me and the girls and said, oh, my daughter loves to watch. She's not with me. Can you guys, can I take a picture with you guys? And Evangeline took the phone to take a selfie. And I took the phone from Evangeline because my arms are longer to take a selfie. And then the lady was like, oh, yeah, can your Nana take the picture? Calling me the girl's Nana. And I was like, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Nana can take the picture. So, <laughs> so Alicia took the picture. So I... I actually I wasn't there. A, I'm, I don't hold a grudge. No, just, not at all. I it, just tell the story. Yeah, it's funny. Lot. And <laughs> another funny story about it is that Alicia has been getting AARP information in the. So you have to be something. like 65 or older to get it. But Alicia, I don't know if I signed her up on I it. I think like, he signed it up as, as like a joke. A, <laughs> it's a prank my wife. Make her feel 65 for many years. Yeah. Um, Gina, you, Alofa's from Seattle, Nay. Thank you so much. Really so, appreciate so much. it. The weather in Seattle's got to be pretty amazing right now, huh? Except for all the coronavirus and 
and maybe a little bit and of rioting riots. over there. But <laughs> besides that, the weather has got to be really beautiful there. And Kathy, thank you so much. Thank you, Kathy. Um, let's see. Oh, Lucy wants us to flies. do lives at this time again. We will try in the future. It seems to be a good time for a lot of yeah. people. Seems like that's what we're going to do. Oh, this is nice. John Leota. Love you guys. I've started back at episode one. I'm a truck driver, so your videos keep me entertained when I'm stuck in queue. Oh, that's cool, John. <laughs> be safe. My brother and sister both drive trucks also. Um, we also are going to be... Um, one of the things that we're doing with, uh, with uh, Samo Airways is we're trying to figure out like a playlist for them to play on the airplane. So mm -hmm. when you guys come over from Samo, or sorry, from New Zealand, uh, or I guess even Australia, Australia, if you guys come from there. They may have a Jamly TV there's gonna channel. There's going to be a Jamly TV channel. Yep. Um, oh. <laughs> Ruth, again, we thanked you when the internet was buffering, so not sure if you heard, but thank you so, so much. Yeah. And Brian Keith tried to make me say a bad word, but thank you so much. <laughs> 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 You're awesome too. <laughs> and the keep no, that's not that's not a bad word. Oh, uh, the keeps. No, y'all are. That's what I said. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> don't say it. Don't say it. Oh yeah, that's that's a little that's naughty. Um. Okay, it's not showing anymore. Of our chat, it won't scroll. Can you see it on there? Our girls told us they're watching the videos also. Love you, girls. Mwah. Okay, so what's the coronavirus situation here in Samoa? Uh, we don't have a coronavirus situation here. Um, I try to keep my mouth as closed as possible, but Alicia and Alicia edits out even more of what I say. But um, there's no coronavirus here, so I, we shouldn't have any internal restrictions. We should have. We should restrict you guys when you guys come from wherever you come from you know take your two weeks like you should and and whatever but you know should the grocery store close at seven instead of nine no that's silly there's no reason to close a grocery store at nine o'clock so but whatever um there was one up there which one um. i don't think so Oh, Michael Malele, he says, next time you transit over Fiji, I would recommend heading down to the coral coast of Fiji, and I shall personally be your chaperone for your trip. Aww. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Michael. That's we really cool. We can do that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll reach out to you next time. That's it. Marie Lewis asked if we miss the USA. We, we miss things about it. We miss conveniences, um, buying things online, online here for I Buy Pacific. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but since we're making those deliveries, someone's not delivering it to us. It's not as fun as ordering from Amazon in the States. Uh, um, it's not going again. Oh, it's buffering again. Sorry, guys. Um, looks like it's okay here, though. Yep. So we, we miss things about it, most especially our families there. We're not sure when we're going back. Uh, something we pray about a lot to know where where the Lord wants us right now. Um, so we're trying to figure that out. Um, <clears throat> thank you to Rex Gilbert watching from day one. That's mm -hmm. really cool. Um, anybody that watches from day one, you guys have seen like 200 episodes, including all the mukbangs and stuff. So I uh, really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you for doing that. You guys, we are almost to our two year anniversary in Samoa. Yeah. Can you believe it? That'll be the 21st of yep. July. 11 so, days. Yeah. Um, Jimmy Mau, Maulio says, love you guys' videos on promoting our beautiful country. It was meant to be coming Christmas, but with COVID-19, no flights this year. But hopefully in June next year, we'll be open to travel. Yeah, that'd be really awesome. Hopefully we can't travel. will open back up. That would be really awesome. Uh, Marshall Goodwin says, love you guys. We went there a few years ago and fell in love with the people in the country. So, Marshall, uh, you are. what's your tie to Samoa? Why did you guys come and visit Samoa? That's pretty cool. Um, Thomas Sasai, uh, can you do a mukbang in American Samoa next time? Yes. Good idea. Yes, we will do that next time we go. Um, I'm getting... Aluese la. <laughs> Good um. job, Alicia. <laughs> Let's see. Annalisa Ash says, 
her partner's a major fan. Thanks. Oh. Blood. <laughs> stop, stop. Um, we have a lot of people from Melbourne watching right yeah. now. Thank you so much. What time is it in Melbourne? Joe, when he did the mukbang, he's like, oh, whatever, noon in Australia. I'm like, Joe, Australia's huge. There's like four time zones there. <laughs> my, I didn't know. I just, my cousin lives in Brisbane or is from Brisbane. And so I just, I showed, I showed, I looked up Brisbane and saw the time there and forgot that Australia is massive. So sorry about that. K Mangele also asks, what's your favorite mukbang? Um, favorite mukbang. So, so my, my problem is that I have a lot of favorite places here in Samoa. Um, my favorite burger, um, is either fat burger or, um, or Rosie's burgers. Um, and then the third one is Roko's. Roko's has an awesome burger pack right now that we really like. Um, but then the best burger, I make it our house, right, babe? And he really does. And then I also make the best steak on the island, and that's not a lie. That's true. He's going to do a mukbang soon where he's yeah. going to show you how he cooks it. So that you guys can kind of do the same thing because it's really it's really easy. Um, and, and it's all about time and heat. And uh, and so you guys can you guys can see that. So yeah. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. I don't know. Sorry. We, we Sorry, are guys. trying. Um, so I guess my, I, you know, Uno Cafe was really awesome. And part of it was because it was such a surprise. It's these four guys who are in this little tiny food truck, uh, making awesome, excellent food out of there. Um, Norlani's Cafe, again, that's a really good one. Um, the other one is the, the Coffee Bean Cafe, e ts Cafe. If you want to eat someplace before three o'clock, it's awesome. Finding a place that stays open after three o'clock in Samoa, that's a little bit of a bigger challenge to find like really good high quality food for that. And what's, what's Arnold's called? We really like um, oh, Corn Cornwall, Cornwall Cafe, Cafe also. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the internet is really expensive here, um, but it's gotten a lot cheaper. When we first moved here, um, we bought a lot of internet so that we can upload all the things that we need to mm -hmm. upload. And it was almost a thousand US dollars per month. Um, but now for the same amount of internet that we were allotted for that, um, it's more like 350 US dollars. So still really expensive, but um, improving. But improving. <clears throat> um, it's 12.45 in Melbourne. Yeah, so you guys are yeah. three hours behind. So yeah, same as what I thought. Will you be doing anything for your two year anniversary? I kind of feel like our trip tomorrow is a nice family activity celebration thing, but we might, maybe we'll post that video and talk about it for our two year anniversary. Yeah. Honestly, um, going to Monono for me was pretty incredible. I, this fly just won't stop. It keeps tickling my head. <laughs> <coughs> No. What's that say? Yeah, well, that'd be nice if we could do that. <laughs> we got Marie sent. Oh, Marie. Hey, thank you so much. Really, oh. we really appreciate that. That's crazy. Oh, that's. You guys are so kind. Yeah, that's such a. I'm sorry. I hope you'll be able to work again soon. Yep. Yep. Sorry. <sighs> Annalisa liked that I pronounced her name right. People pronounce my name wrong a lot. Like it's Alicia, and a lot of times people say Felicia. <laughs> uh, I don't know who does that. <laughs> um, Ruth T asked if you can get an episode of us cooking at home. Yeah, when Joe cooks his steak and stuff for you guys, we'll do that. I just need to figure out a Saturday because I need to do it during the day because I, we usually cook steaks at night, but I need to do it during the day so that you guys can see it so we can film it because we don't, um, it's just, we want good lighting so that you guys can see what's happening. Uh, <laughs> um, K Mangele, uh, 685. Yeah, you're right. My auntie, I'm glad you said that. My auntie does make the best Oka. I, I, have you had it before? I, maybe you've had it before. <laughs> 
Robbie asks if any food tastes <laughs> nice here. Joe's found lots of food no. that tastes nice here. I think he says, do you find that since moving to Samoa, oh. that any food, oh. <laughs> that basically everything tastes nice. We are definitely more grateful um, for all things technological and all uh, things all, just I guess just all things in general. In general. Um, you know, some being here like this cloud that just came. Yeah, it, being great. here in Samoa has given us an opportunity to be more thankful for things, um, to get rid of the things that we don't really need. You know, you guys that have seen all of our videos, you saw how big our house was in America and um, and all the things that came with it. Um, granted, we wish that we were able to get more money for the things that we sold, but being in Samoa allows us to enjoy a lot more simple things for sure. Um, Helps us really appreciate what's truly important and not need. You know, and, and also, also you guys, um, you know, you guys kind of being appreciative of the things that we're showing you in Samoa has been really eye-opening to us also because we realize that you guys appreciate you know i'll do an instagram post driving down the 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 road in saliufi and you guys will comment on it and a thousand of you will will appreciate the the video just a quick little short video and that's that's huge you know for you guys to be able to see samoa um has shown us that the little things really matter and when I edit, and a lot of time, you know, Samoa is not that big a place. We drive by the same houses all the time when we film and we go to a beach or whatever. Um, but I like to keep those houses in there and stuff because so many of you comment and say, that's my family home, or that was my grandma's house, or thank you so much for showing this. And so that's why I keep adding that same type of footage in there because you never know. Um, what it means for someone to be able to see their family home here and we love that <laughs> all right now that you've seen the sun come out against us it's gonna be a little bit shorter view I've kind of slipped into a pirate I think. <laughs> hustle hood uh, also, so there you go. His best Steve Irwin impression. <laughs> I, I'm going to work on my Steve Irwin impression. You must have watched our uh, jackfruit video recently. <laughs> uh, yeah. Lexi X, thank you so much. She says, love you guys. Beautiful people with massive hearts. Appreciate all you do to showcase our beautiful Samoa. Thank you so much. And Nora Phillips. Hi, Jamily TV. This is Ava. I'm using my mom's account. Why did you start vlogging? I love your channel. Ava, does your mom know that you yeah, just sent no, us Nora. <laughs> oh, yeah, Ava. <laughs> Ava, do you, I hope your mom knows that you just sent some money. Uh, not sure what to do about this. I don't know if there's a refund button here somewhere. Anyone know if there's a refund? Anyway, the reason why we started vlogging was just to um, help our kids understand um, and remember what Samoa was like. Um, because we knew that. family in the States yeah, to see. We knew what, we weren't going to be here for long. Yeah. Um. 10 51 p.m in puerto rico where my nephew is on thursday hi romeo thanks so much glad you caught us live also yeah so we joe has the best thumbnails k mangeli that's not true felicia does the best thumbnails it's not <laughs> actually me oh, that's a good question LTF. oh hey will you ever try and get sunny from the food food review show to visit um, Sonny is a really good friend of mine and we are trying to figure that out. We're trying to get, um, trying to get him down here. Sorry, babe. It looks like it's so, uh, we're trying to get him down here to try some Pololo and maybe some, um, some Pea and some Sea and I don't know what else he should try, but he's going to get a tattoo. No, Pea is bad. Yeah, it's also a tattoo, but he's not going to try and get a tattoo. <laughs> That's not happening. Gonna but tattoo his yeah, going to do our best to try and get him down here. But obviously he's really busy and he's got like 5 million subscribers. So we'll see. Oh, and the borders are closed. What camera do you use for your vloggings? Okay, so we are going to be here for like another five more minutes with you guys. Um, so just wanted to let you know if you guys have any questions, throw them up here and, and we'll get them in. But what kind of camera do we use? We use a oh, we didn't Canon bring it with M50. us. We use a Canon M50, um, which has been a great camera for us. So if you are interested in vlogging yourself, get that and also get a video mic pro, um, which is like a hundred dollar microphone for your for your camera. Easy to use. Um, mm -hmm. 
the drone shots yeah so so far um i have lost three drones three drones not lost three drones yes. i've lost two i've broken three okay anyway um thank you alicia for letting us get some that, drones that excellent drone footage comes at a cost it does come at a cost because there's, there's a I'm, drone at the bottom of the sea here yeah. there's a drone in the top of the trees in new zealand i'm i'm trying to get you guys good shots and the result of that is that sometimes it runs into the ocean or the top of a tree so if you know anyone who makes drones and they want to sponsor us a drone <laughs> yeah we could use another one yeah, it, yeah we do, it's okay we don't it would be good to get a, a new drone sometime soon but we're we're yeah. working on that um again a huge shout out and thank you to those who have um done super chats today uh you know it's been a huge blessing uh we really appreciate it this money that we use that are you know that comes from the super chats the money that comes from the patreons um, from the patrons it all it all goes back into samoa uh we're not building a big bank account here we're not building a bank account at all we're actually burning money le, uh, le yeah le se coupe. In le bank. <laughs> but what we are doing is we're just trying to reinvest in samoa and that's one of the reasons why we um, partnered with somebody to do i buy pacific and um and what and why we go back into samoa so that uh so that everyone can kind of benefit from you guys' contributions so again thank you bean bags a shout out from tokelau ammo loves tokelau because her school last year did a presentation on tokelau when the pacific games were here and she loved she learned the songs if you watch some of our videos back then super cute tokelau, she would sing <laughs> constantly she loved it okay uh another thank you to the patrons we're gonna sign off here uh looks like our internet is struggling anyway but hopefully you can hear what's happening and um we really appreciate it can you please shout out my partner tia he's busy working not able to watch annalisa ash tia thank you so much for your love of jamily tv and um and your partner annalisa she has chosen well i think and uh more importantly you have chosen well so okay Guys, we really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your love and support. We'll see you um, in a month. Uh, we'll let you know when we're going to do it, um, just like we did this time. But we'll we'll show you when we, or we'll we'll do a mukbang and announce it when we're going to do it. Yep. And if you think of questions that you have before then, you can send them to us on Instagram or um, Jamily TV on Messenger on Facebook, and we can have a list beforehand so we can make sure to get to those questions. Yep. Um, All right, guys. We'll see you in a month.